Um, I'm Ariana Cohen Halberstam. I'm the artistic director of Boston Jewish Film and the Boston Israeli Film Festival. I'm so pleased to have with me here today Nitsa Shaul, who you recognize from just a few moments ago, um, who played Tommy in Love and Suspenders, and Jorge Weller, who is the director of the film. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. So this is, I mean, this is a light of a film. I think we've all been stuck at home and watching this film just, I think, brings so much joy into our home. So um, I'm really glad to be able to show it as part of the festival. And I wanted to start by asking you, Jorge, where you came up with the idea for the movie, because it follows many of the tropes, obviously, of a rom-com with the ending with a wedding and the beginning with the meet cute but obviously it looks a little different than what we're usually seeing in Hollywood movies um, because it's dealing with love in a, in a generation that's not often given enough attention on screen. Okay, my, first of all, I must uh, apologize because my English is a little problematic. And, uh, Nitsa, said, Nitsa said not, but she, she is not the it's not the truth. So I I'm apologize. I will try to to talk. Maybe Nitsa will help me. Okay. Uh, I, I don't understand. I don't understand exactly the the question. Oh, N so Nitsa, I'll repeat, can you... I can repeat it also uh, differently. Um, yeah. I just I was saying that there the movie we've seen other romantic comedies. You know where it ends with a wedding. It starts with this meet cute. Um, but this movie, it looks a little bit different because it's dealing with the third generation. And I'm wondering where you came up with the idea for the movie. Ah, okay. Uh, well, the, the, a, few years, a few years ago, we made the short film, um, the Elisa Dor, the scriptwriter and me, work uh, for an organization, it's uh, uh, Eshel joined Israel. It's a big organization in Israel that uh, make a lot of sync uh, with the old people. And there is uh, the cinema department. We, we make uh, films, trigger films uh, to, about the uh, old people. And usually we make a drama, a 20 minutes drama. The, the idea is the, the trigger film, and then the people uh, talk about the film, the, the old people, the families, the work. And in this uh, the specific case, they asked to me to make a, a, a short film, a trigger film, about the second marriage at the autumn of life. And uh, I, I received a, a, a very big um, research, research Laura, um, investigation, Tafkir. Yeah. Investigation research. about... Research. What? Research. Yes. Of a, fi a 50 a page that explain why, very serious, why uh, the, a, a lot of people afraid are afraid to, um, to move to the second marriage at the old... Uh, mm. Because they're afraid of a lot of things uh, that all the things we can see in the movie. And, uh, and we receive a lot of uh, examples of people that uh, make a second marriage or didn't make a lot of examples. So the scriptwriter and me uh, decide to make uh, one story from all the stories. But the, the important thing and the, about your question is that I uh, ask to my producer that uh, I, I told him that I think in this specific case, maybe we make not a drama, but a romantic comedy. And he said, but romantic comedy is uh, something about youth and we are old people. And I said that be, because the, the message, the principal message of the film is the, there is not the age for love and the, if the old people can, uh, um, um, I mean, to 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 be to to make the move to make the 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 <laughs> sorry uh, and to make marry to to marry. Uh, so 
it's it's a very optimistic film and very uh, in, in in other way i i convince him that to try to make a uh, romantic comedy with the old people and um, and i was very very uh, enthusiastic because i think I, I i feel that there is something special and then with the with the actors we, we make the short film the short film with the it was with the same actor, Yuda Barkan, that you saw in the movie, and another uh, actress, very, the, today she is but, uh, she is uh, 92. So wow. when, when we decide to make a, a, a movie from the, so we, we change the actor and we find an excellent actress that is Nitsa. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I speak a lot, but this, this, that's the way we start the, the movie to. And you decided then to make it a feature length instead of just a short because it was such an, I imagine, yes. a good response. From the short, we, we make, we come to the TV and the TV enjoyed and we made a TV series to make 20, 20 uh, episodes about the story. And then uh, two years ago, we decided that it's a time for a movie, a cinema movie, and uh, and and we make a lot of uh, change from the original idea. But uh, uh, because the 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 old people, especially the old people, like very very much the film because they they feel they feel that there is something very serious in the I mean the. The message, the, the message of the film is very serious and very um, important. But the way we 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 make the we, we make is very is we concentrate to make an entertainment to make the, the people will uh, uh, moving and and yeah. Uh, laugh. Yeah. I mean, I think a, a good comedy also usually has a serious uh, message in it. Yeah. And, I wanted, I wanted to ask a little bit about Nitsa, how you got connected to the project. And there, you know, you obviously have a background in music, and there's all these incredible scenes in the film with Shlomo Abba, in which you're singing, and you're singing with your granddaughter in the film. So, when did you get connected to the project, and were those scenes written in for you specifically, or how did the music become a part, and how? Did, how did you get to sing in the movie too? It was all there. Oh you know? wow! <laughs> all there, right from the beginning, and uh, it it really moved me because uh, I could see this woman who had so many colors, you know, and so many ways to express herself. And uh, she's uh, uh, in the film. She's about seven years a widow, right, Jorge? Uh, and um, and and still. She, she cannot leave the late husband, he's still in her. And I believe that some of it is the music because they were, a, you know, a duo and they used to perform together and they had all the wonderful experiences of performing and expressing themselves on and off stage. And um, it's a different kind of relationship when I know from home. <laughs> It's completely different when you, you work with somebody who is so much part of your life, you know, there is something that is so deep and um, goes really to, to the very core of your soul. And uh, with Shlomo Baraba, it was very easy because we were in the same entertainment army group. All we needed, oh, wow. <laughs> we needed something, you know, to ignite us, poof. And Jorge remembers how we met at the first time. It, it was incredible, incredible. Wow. We couldn't stop singing all the songs that we used to entertain the troops, you know? Wow. <laughs> and, and, and we could remember all the, everything, even the movement and the choreography. So, wow. So honest and so true, you know? There was nothing that we had to... Um, you know, adapt from something that, uh, or to, to, to dig into material that, it was all there, so yeah. simple and so fresh. But about the, the relationship of, um, 
of Tammy and, and, and Benno, it's, um, I see some of, I have some friends who lost their husbands mm -hmm. and I know how difficult it is to, to or if, if it's good relationship, you know, if it isn't, I don't know, not saying anything, <laughs> but <laughs> we're dealing with comedy, right? <laughs> but if it's good relationship and there's so much love there and uh, you, they don't want to, to leave this wonderful feeling, you know, and, it, and also there is a kind of taboo that you have to be somebody else when you, when you turn 60, you know, ooh, ooh, you have to be serious and, and to not to think about love, there's no love. And it's a great lesson to, if we talk to the same generation, they exactly know what we're talking about, exactly and immediately. Mm -hmm. But also to a younger generation, like the, the children there, our children there, and the, the granddaughter, Mm -hmm. And he really understands it. Always like that. Always. Yeah. Right? That there is a special relationship between, uh, I don't know, a vivacious uh, uh, grandma who is very much alive and bubbly with a granddaughter. Who she's, she's, uh, she's, she really adores her. Yeah. And, and yeah. there, it's so important to show that, after all, love has no age. And we are allowed to, uh, you know, I'm saying it as a woman because for yeah. men, it's different. We know there have extras that I hope that will vanish from this earth. And, uh, but we women, um, you know, um, are allowed to fall in love again uh, and we have the right to do it and have the right to go through a wonderful experience like that without permission of nobody, right. nobody, including the family. Right, I mean, I think one of the things that is done so well and that is really interesting to think about in this time when so many people um, whose parents are over 65, when COVID started, were telling their parents what to do. And that's something that you address in the film where Benno says to you, um, you your kids don't get to tell you what to do. Many of people who, you know, will call their parents and say, you need to stay inside. And the grandchildren having this different relationship with the parents, I think is something that's probably become increasingly familiar to people over the past few months. Um, and thinking of the setting also of the film in this retirement community, which obviously we've, we've seen a lot of attention on the isolation in those communities um, over the past few months was really interesting to get a look inside um, right now. Um, I'm curious, did you film in a retirement community or what, where, yes, you did. Yes, yes, it's a real place and the, the extras, there are people that live in the, in the place, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. I mean, I also thought the other characters in the retirement community, Nisa, you were talking about the permission, to, you know, this expectation of how you're one's supposed to behave over 60. And I love that you um, created these characters that have crushes and are shy, like a schoolboy, Gershon and, um, and Benno's <laughs> neighbor. This, it was really, um, it, it was treating love in a way and, and romance and crushes in a way that you don't often see um, for an older generation. Um, All right. And it, it's just the same, you know? Of course. It's yeah. the same. And it's wonderful to see. And it was so well written by Jorge and Alisa. Uh, they, they, they really had the sensitivity not to overdo it and to, to have the right measurement, you know, not the, just to, to touch it in such a delicate and elegant way that uh, gave us the actors freedom, you know, to go a little bit further there and uh, to have some, some fun with these uh, crushes, you know. But yeah. uh, saying something about what you've said before, you know, my mother, she's in uh, a home like that and mm. a wonderful place too. And, um, I, I couldn't go there to see her. Um, and last week, 
I, I had to go uh, and help her to get some stuff. And now we had the vaccine here. Right. So I was, I'm, I was okay, sort of. Still, they don't allow it. And mm -hmm. I, I entered her apartment and I realized that I haven't been there for a year. Wow. Can you imagine? This is incredible, incredible. And then I thought, wow, this is really like a separated community. And I think that you feel it also in the film. It's like, yeah. like a bubble, right? They have their courses, their the, the, the gym and the pool. And that, well, this is a place, five star <laughs> place, you know. And if you compare it to, to Beno, Beno's poor apartment, this is <laughs> heartbreaking, isn't it? To yeah. see that uh, people live differently at this age and how, and to think about them at this time, you know, with the COVID. Right. And Benno, of course, said I, he wouldn't want to live in a place like that before he sees her apart, Tammy's apartment. But um, I want to talk a little bit about Benno and particularly Yehuda Barkhan, who unfortunately passed away in October this year. Um, this was his last role. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he's obviously has a long career of comedic acting. Can you talk a little bit about your memories of, of acting with him on set? Yuda uh, Barkan, I, I, I said that uh, in Israel is very, very famous and he make a lot of films, very, very success films. Uh, and uh, in, in my opinion, the, the, the question is why, why he is so, uh, uh, the, the people so love him. Uh, it's, it's extraordinary actor, but it's something else that, uh, and my conclusion is that uh, he, he is a, a star, but not only by, because uh, the, the, common, the common way uh, star because he's famous. A star like, the, like in the astronomy and the star in astronomy, the star is uh, um, something that have the 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 light in inner light, and uh, that was I think that Yuda had something uh, inside a light and the warm. So and he's so uh, a, a good actor with with this energy and the light. So people feel uh, something very very special, and. Uh, it's, it's really wonderful. He was a wonderful uh, uh, person and, uh, and a wonderful actor. And we, we work from the short film, it's a few years ago, then all the TV series, and this was the, the last uh, film. But we have a very, very special uh, relation with a lot of uh, humor because I don't know if you want, if you know, but he became religious. Mm -hmm. the last years. So um, uh, it, I, I am not religious, so we, we are very different, but we, we have a very in common and with a lot of humor. And uh, for, for example, when he's, he writes the script the first time, uh, he, he loved the script, but he told me there is a problem. I, I can see that there is a sex scenes in the script. And you know, I religious, so I please change these things because in a Jewish relation, it uh, must be a contact. I mean, it's forbidden to, to contact. So uh, I say, Yuda, it's a love story. It's, it's impossible that it's not a, a, a contact, a mini, minimum, a, a kiss or something. It, it, it's not a pornography film, it's just a love story. <laughs> Last story. So he said, okay, please tell me, I, I was to uh, ask my rabbi and uh, he asked the rabbi and the rabbi say, give me two days. And after two days, the rabbi say, I have the solution. I found that there is a pasuk, a sentence in the Torah that uh, if you make something for a living, 
it's okay to to make uh, contact with the woman, like a doctor. So you are an actor, you make the film for a living, it's your, uh, so uh, it's okay, you can do that. <laughs> that's, that's a convenient pasuk. <laughs> Very convenient, yeah. I, I really ask, for us all. I ask him, please tell me what am I allowed to do or not? <laughs> Just be honest, you know, I, I no offense, it's okay. I, I respect everything. And he said, I respect you too. Mm. And it was amazing. He said, uh, you have to do your part the best you can. And I have to do it the best I can. And feel free, completely free to do whatever you need to do. I said, okay, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he found a way. He was initiating me. He said, mm. he used to whisper in my ear. Okay, you can kiss me now. <laughs> it was wonderful, yeah. really wonderful. So it's, you know, I, I, I started acting with that, with Yuda as, as a very, very young actress, very, very young. Kid, not kid, but you know. And uh, we were in two mega, mega uh, cult movies. And um, it, to, to see the change that he went through uh, was really moving, you know, because I could feel that he found his way and he was not preaching, he was not trying to say that he is right and nothing like that. And he had all the time in the world to listen to people and all he wanted to do is to give and to do some good. And he wouldn't rest until he saw a smile on the saddest, you know, person on the set to, to investigate and <laughs> to make everybody happy. It's so incredible. And I must say something, you know, in his funeral, it was stunning to see the rabbis and the free people talking about the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. It was just the same. It was as if both parties, you know, you know, knew him from the same angle. I don't know many other people who mm -hmm. would reach such a high, you know, high place to, to reach. Um, it's, it's, it's incredible. Incredible, yeah. so sad. I remember a special moment uh, because it is important to understand that Yuda, when he was a young people, he was very, very nice. All the girls want to be a hot, friend. Hot. What? Hot, hot, I say. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then he became religious that he was a little fat and it, and I remember the, the first meeting with Yuda and Nitsa, that the purpose of the meeting was to, to check how we feel with the, especially about the chemistry, if there is. And uh, I, I remember that uh, we, we talk and then Nitsa go to the restroom and I ask, you, I ask uh, Yuda, um, what do you think, how you feel? And Yuda said, uh, well, it's, it's incredible. It's, it's the perfect uh, actress and we have a so good uh, chemistry, but there is a problem. I, I asked what the problem? And he said like a shy, like a shy uh, uh, boy, he said, you think the people will, be, will believe that uh, a woman like Nietzsche will be in love with a man like me? <laughs> <laughs> And so when, when Nitsa came back, I, I opened and I said, uh, Nitsa, you know, Yuda uh, have a question. <laughs> and and Nitsa, you can tell the, the answer because you, you answer very nice you, what you said. You remember? I remember. I said that he's a charmer and there's no way. Of course. How? And I would fall in love with him immediately. <laughs> of course. And, but, you know, that's what I said, right? <laughs> yes. I mean, there, there is definitely chemistry. I mean, it's surprising to learn that he was worried about being Shomer Nagia and not 
touching you, Jerry. I mean, the chemistry on 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 the screen is so apparent, and um, there's just such a beautiful relationship portrayed there. And and we certainly do see that light that you were talking about, Jorge, in him um, in this role. You just sympathize with him throughout the entire film. Wasn't afraid to expose himself, you know, to be vulnerable. And vulnerability on the screen, you know, is something so unique. Yeah. It's either there or not. That's it. You know, uh, Ariana, I, I, after the, the film, uh, when the film finished in the cinema, I made uh, 30, 20 or 30 uh, pri private uh, screening, especially to all people. And usually after the screening, we make a conversation, especially in Israel, but it, it was in Los Angeles in the Israel Film Festival mm. too. And uh, I think in, uh, in every, in every uh, uh, meeting, at the beginning, the people ask uh, uh, important and serious uh, questions, but in the, b before the end, there is a woman that, that uh, asks the question, I would like to know what the beauty secret of Nitsa. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and, and, I explain, and I explain that uh, there is a combination, special, very unusual and special combination of a uh, uh, genim, I will say genim. Genes. Genes. Yes. <laughs> but the the way of life, she is very very careful about the what she eat and exercise, and I think and I think there are two two special things. One is the the positive things, she, the optimism, and the, she she take the life very very um, easy, very easy. So. The, the combination of that, the, this is the formula, <laughs> the stuff. <laughs> it's, it's not that easy to achieve, easy well, going. Well, <laughs> but if well you can share, Jorge, I, <laughs> I can say the same about you, that you are such an optimist and such a, a really, uh, it was such a joy to work with Jorge, you know, because he, he knows exactly what he wants, but he gives you freedom and uh, gives you time to, to do the scene. There's no hurry, it's always preparation and discussion. And uh, there was uh, a lot of discussion with you there. <laughs> I think the two of them sometimes gave me a headache, <laughs> but it was a good one, a good one, really. It was worth it because um, the results, when finally we were doing it, I, each one of us felt so comfortable with this wonderful direction and, and this touch of, of elegant mixture of, of uh, South American, Israeli um, combination, you know, it's, it's, it's very unusual, very unusual. And, and I love this foreign touch, this little thing there that was different and uh, and elegant, so elegant. I loved it. All right, you're from Argentina. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's beautiful. And you're from Argentina originally. Yes. Um, what do you think? I mean, Nisa talked about the, the South American-ness that you brought into the, into the film. What is that? What, 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 where were you drawing on? Do you draw on your Argentinian background when you're directing? Um, or is it innate? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, it's, uh, I, I, you know, it, the, there is uh, the, the people in Israel th uh, think that uh, all the, for example, all the Brazilian people are all the time laughing and, and dancing in the street. <laughs> the, and it's true that there are something, and about the about the Argentinian and South America. I mean, there is something that we, uh, I, I think we we have a very, 
I mean, why, why we are so poor in South America? We, we, we don't think about the money or about the, the, the things that uh, the, we, think really of, think, we yeah. think all the time how to enjoy a little more the, the life and it's very important. The friendship is a, is a very, very important value. The, the, the friendship and the relationship and may, maybe there's um, uh, I, because I, I come to Israel uh, in '78. It's 40 years. <laughs> so, but uh, in I, maybe there is something. Yes, I I, I married a, a Belgian a oh. woman, so <laughs> we, are, we are very we are very different. <laughs> but, uh, and, Especially, I, I know that she said, she said, why all the Argentinians are so slowly, slowly. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, well, slowly, slowly, but we have not so stressed, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are not effective, we are not Americans, but we have uh, less stress. <laughs> yeah. Well, so it's warm, warm, so warm. I, I identified with it immediately because I have a huge family in Argentina and also people here who came from Argentina so immediately I connected to that and this accent it makes me melt <laughs> you remember this <laughs> film there was a film but uh, a fish called Wanda where where he you know please used to talk <laughs> Russian or whatever and I was melting when I <laughs> hearing Jorge that's all I needed such a sexy accent Woo. <laughs> Well, it's, it's it's the the values you sort of talk about as Latin American values, the emphasis not on money, but on family and friendship, and are the values that you gave Benno as a character. Um, he he sort of I wonder how much of yourself you see in him. He sort of seems to and his his obviously he's very different um, than Tammy, and his he doesn't have any money because he spent it to save his wife because he's always writing letters for other people to get money and I think you really get the values that you're talking about across in him as a character. Do you see yourself in him at all? Yes, yes, it, it's important to to say that the screenwriter Elisador is uh, from uh, Argentina too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So we, uh, she, she, uh, 40 years in Israel, but uh, she, she has yeah, the yeah. same uh, way. Um, yeah. So the film screened in theaters in Israel. What has the films, where, where has the movie shown so far and where is it going next? The, the film was in the cinema, uh, in Israel cinemas. It was very, very good. And then it's uh, in the TV, TV, Israel TV. And uh, now it's in festivals. It's, a, it's very success in the festivals. The, um, I, we don't know, I, we don't know what will, what will happen to, with, with the film, is I, I, the producer and distribution, but because all the happened with the COVID-19, I mean, all the, the cinemas in the world is very problematic, yeah. Um, but the people, the people in Israel uh, like the film a, a lot. Uh, and when my, my experience in the, in the Festi Israel Film Festival in, in Los Angeles was, was wonderful, was uh, very, very, very nice, yeah. Yeah, that's a great festival. Yeah. Uh, we're we're so. I wish that we could be showing it in an audio, you know, in a theater with a full audience. But it's yeah. one of those films that also, as I said, really brings brings a lot of warmth and into your home, which is nice in this time. So, yeah. And and Arnita, are you working on anything else now? I know you have a thousand different projects, from music to. So can you imagine from all these thousand projects in one day to go to see, you know, nothing. It was such a shock, really. I managed to do a few things on TV, you know, and uh, to be very active. 
with for my friends and their situation. And now I'm working on uh, a TV comedy that is very popular. It's called uh, uh, A Dear Tea. Tea, you know, like the tea. Yeah, on, 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 on the road. And um, it's, it's a com he is a comedian, comedian Adil Mila, very popular. So it's a very nice, funny role. And I'm starting also a film, very interesting film um, called Green. And uh, it's the first film of a young uh, filmmaker who's going through hell now just to put it on, you know? It's it, every day there's something and it's, it's one day it's working, one day it's not working. And again, all the, to, to go through all this, uh, it, it, who is, who has the vaccine, who doesn't, who's going to be, it's impossible. It's impossible to work like this. Yeah. And we hope that we we'll go, we started to go back to, to the theaters, but again, it's very, very problematic. And um, my husband is a conductor classical yeah so he started they started again they're allowed like 300 people in the hall but oh, wow. it's something, okay something it it's something yeah 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 and uh, it's a wonderful time for us um uh, uh, because we were stuck together <laughs> yeah Normally he's conducting all over the world so he was grounded <laughs> and, uh, so we are working on our, our, on a show of ours, you know, our show. So we are writing and we're working with the director, writers that they can see it, you know, from the outside. And I really hope that um, it would be a chance to, to see ourselves, you know, from a different angle and to give some joy to people at the same time. And I'm looking forward to it. It sounds like you said you went from having a thousand projects to nothing, but it sounds like you've been very busy still. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> I mean, I'm used to do Hochenos. I didn't have time to read, really working 24 seven, really. It's yeah. uh, two shows, three shows in a day and film and doing all that. You know, that's how we yeah. work here in Israel. It's a bit right. crazy. Yeah. So it was interesting not to do it and um i thought that i would you know start doing things be creative right and um, write new shows as i do you know write then uh, maybe my 12th book and nothing nothing i just sat there doing nothing i couldn't there was no way and as hawk has said i'm an optimistic girl I couldn't do it and I understood that there's no point to fight when sometimes you have to accept the situation and wait and yeah. observe. And, and I was very tuned to the surround, you know? Normally I was so much within myself and what I'm doing. Not that I didn't care, but it was interesting to be all the time to look around and to see what's happening. And, and it's very rough. My daughter yeah. lives, one of my daughter, she lives in London. So I didn't see her for nine months or more than that. And um, it's heartbreaking, you know, yeah. and it's so difficult. And, but I think it's improving and we really have to be optimistic. There's no other way. Well, now that you're vaccinated, I think we're sort of moving past the initial shock, which might have, you know, stilted some creativity and getting back out into the world and getting to see the people that we love. Um, I think hopefully we'll get to see the projects you've been working on soon. Um, Jorge, were you working on projects during this time? Are you back to filming? Are you? Uh, yeah, I, my next project is a uh, co-production with Argentina. It's uh, something different. It's a, it's a comedy, dramatic comedy, about an uh, Argentinian in Israel mm. that have a lot of problems. <laughs> <laughs> no, family, family problems and the, 
one day it's like like the joke about the rabbit that you have a lot of problem and then another. So the, he have a lot of problem and one day come from Argentina, the family uh, he must take take care for him. Doesn't matter. It's a very it's very pers it's a personal. I mean, it start from the personal, but it's we work with the same uh, screenwriter and she's from Argentina. And we have a co-production, so the film will be with the Israeli and Argentinian actors. It's the first time I, I do that. It's the first time that there will be a co-production between Israel and Argentina. Oh, wow. And uh, yes, and uh, I, I, I'm very excited about the, this film. We are, uh, the one year, uh, the, the, for, for one year, mm -hmm. the Israeli, a fund doesn't work, so we 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 wait all the time that the situation will be and and the, even it's impossible to travel now from okay. Israel. So I I believe that in a few months the situation uh, we it will be possible to to make the movie. Um, because uh, the actors from Argentina, I'm sure, can't come to Israel either right now. No, 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 because uh, theater, I mean, the, the actors in, in Israel, in the, at this moment, it's impossible to, to go out or, or to come right. to Israel. So we, we must, the situation be normal that they can, uh, and uh, in, in Argentina, there is a lot of problem about the Kisunim, Vaccination. Yes, so it's, we, we must need. But uh, if uh, one of the uh, one of the people in the festival are interested in, in investing in a good film, uh, this is a good opportunity. <laughs> well, let let me know and 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 we'll we'll get you in touch. But I'm I'm looking whenever it's complete. It sounds like it would be a really fun film for the festival as well. So I, I look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much. Thank you, Nisa, and thank you, Jorge, for talking to me and for bringing this film to our festival. Um, I think all of the things you were just talking about, about the isolation, this film highlights and deals with with such a comedic and loving and um, exploratory tone. So I, I'm really glad to get to share it with our audience as part of this festival. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very okay. lovely to meet you. Have a good evening. I hope the next uh, year we, we, we can meet in the festival in Boston. Me too. It was oh, by Zoom. Yes, <laughs> yes well, I, I hope so too. We would love to bring you here. And, and if not in Israel, because I, I miss going. I usually go for the Jerusalem Film Festival and this year I couldn't. And But next year, let's let's bring you to Boston. Maybe Nisa, you and your husband can um, as a, with the orchestra, like I would love Yay. to just have people in a theater enjoying art again together. So. Well, you have a fantastic orchestra there. <laughs> we, do. we do, we're very lucky. We get, yeah. Nothing's open here. The vaccinations are a lot slower here than Israel, as really? I'm sure you know. Yeah, they, so. Boston, they just opened up to over 65 last week. Really? So, yeah. Wow. Much so slower. also theaters and entertainment no, and restaurants nothing. are all closed. Restaurants are open, but they shouldn't be. <laughs> uh, schools are not open like oh. in Boston. Um, in New it's different. New York restaurants are open only outside, I think. So every city is, is different, but we're looking at Israel and, and wishing we were there in terms of vaccination. Oh. Yeah. 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 I hope so. that you get it soon, really. Yeah. Yeah. Well, stay safe and, and be healthy. You too. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.